Well, hello there, guys. We're doing another a Twitch stream here, or I should say a um, YouTube stream. Uh, so we're just going to try to play some uh, Vietnam or Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, of course. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump onto a server immediately and see if I can't get into the action. Uh, there's some of these smaller servers, which I've been seeing a lot of. And before, I was only seeing the 64-player servers. So I'm kind of curious to see why this server is so small and kind of want to jump in and see uh, what it's like to play here. All right, let's see, boys. Okay, so we're going to take the U.S. Army. And actually, I can take the machine gunner. I've been wanting to use that M60 forever. So let's go for that. Um, and I'm just taking a look here at the names. Maybe the enemy is... Uh, no, I don't think it's bots. Although, I would believe it, because we seem to have squads and they don't, or maybe we just can't see their squads. We are taking Charlie. Let's keep going. Man, I love this M60, but it is a heavy son of a bitch. Alright, so we're moving on. Let's go to F. I want to go to Delta as well. Not sure if I should be sticking around here. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm trying to quit. I like how people can hear the lighter click. Uh, I'm hoping this will be my last pack. But that's what they all say, I guess. We have taken Charlie. Here we go. Right, so I'm trying to see Charlie's this way. So we might have some enemies all the way over here. Don't forget, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. That's always a good thing. Oh, Sniper! 94 meters. Damn. That's pretty damn good. How's it going, Line 24? Resist the drafts, is John Connor. Alright, let's keep on moving here. At least we're getting a little bit closer to point A, which I think is probably where we want to be headed. And this is a, uh, a server with much fewer players than usual. Usually we've got like, uh, I don't know, like uh, 64. I think this one only has like 36 players. So it's much smaller, and I'm wondering if that's going to improve or, or you know, worsen our gaming experience. We're going to find out pretty soon. But I think I do need to start on like a smaller server, kind of learn first, and then move on to a bigger one. Oh, shit. I think my ally got him first. I might have gotten him. Careful, don't get in front of my M60, damn it. Let's keep moving. Foxtrot is being attacked. Now Foxtrot is being attacked. It seems like all the areas around us are being attacked right now. Oh shit. Oh, Punji Trap! That was a punchy trap for sure. Hey, gal, thank you, man. Charlie is everywhere, indeed, man. Charlie is everywhere right now. And yeah, I promised some more Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. I definitely wanted to uh, play some more here. And oh, I finally get to be the M60 gunner here on the chopper. It's going to be really hard to see the enemy, though, to be honest with you. Okay, we could get out. Fair enough. Alright, let's go, guys. I was kind of enjoying using that machine gun, though. Holy shit! Oh, no. That was almost my gun. I almost got him. I almost shot him. Let's take a look down there. Definitely looks like the enemy could be stationed down there for sure. Up. 
Try to get into a better firing position here. Man, the enemy is wasting us. If you take a look at the uh, the actual casualties here, they're doing a really good job. Maybe this is a good spot. Well, we can't see much up here, honestly. Oh! Oh, but they can. They can see a lot. My computer died, said John Connor. Just throw visibility and actually out the window and just shoot, says Lion24. That's a good plan. I like that plan, John. Just uh, do our best. I wonder if this gun can uh, actually uh, overheat. I don't think the M60 really overheats no too much. Uh, well, not like the uh, not like the uh, Soviet machine so. gun, and it's not a Vietnamese machine gun. It is a Soviet. It's an RPK, I believe. Uh, I mean, all the weapons that the Vietnamese are using, uh, or at least the North Vietnamese are. Uh, Soviet weapons, of course. We are taking Delta. Oh, shit. Well, we're taking Delta, but there's enemies here for sure. The grenade took a while to explode. 30 seconds remaining in this match. some point here, guys, I'm going to have to lay out the laundry. Take cover. We are taking Foxtrot. Thirty seconds. I mean, we should pretty much be ending the game here, restarting pretty soon. We're beating this time. Oh, defeat! Well, we just joined, so I can't really, uh, I can't really blame myself. Yes, I got TK'd. It was the M16, I think. Morning, crowning tiger. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the stream. The stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to be a machine gunner for the VC this time. Um, and once again, much smaller uh, actual uh, server. I'm not, and once again, I kind of want to see if this is better or worse than most of the other servers. It's definitely a new, um, sort of something new for me. 32 players, not a lot. Usually it's 64. So uh, maybe it's going to make things easier for a noob like me, or maybe it'll make things harder. I'm really not sure. Thank you, Jesus Camacho. I like that last name, too. It reminds me of that movie... Uh, Idiocracy. I really like that film. President Camacho. It's the best. Don't forget, guys, if you are new to the stream, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, as well. And what the hell am I a ghost? What is this? What in the world is going on? There we go. All right, guys. Start taking some points, of course. Now, I've got to be careful with this RPK because this thing does overheat very easily. And uh, I think I'm just going to do some short bursts instead of just opening up completely. Although I'll probably end up breaking my own uh, my own rule. Right, let's take Bravo. I wonder if we can open this. Oh, shit. I almost shot that guy. The Bravo is nearly ours. Point capture? No? We have a ticket. There we go. So we got a squad capture bonus. And it we looks like the enemy has equal. already taken E and F. So we're gonna head in that direction, of course. But I really need to learn in this game to just be patient, to just basically sit around and wait for the enemy. Uh, because if you start going out and pretending this is Call of Duty, you get killed pretty quickly. Holy shit, was that an enemy right there? Gotcha! Gotcha! Oh yeah, it was definitely an enemy. <laughs> Oh, and we got first blood. So it's my first first blood. Pretty nice. We got the first kill. Moving through the patties here. Oh, shit. I 
Got another one, boys. Two kills so far. Getting slightly better. And uh, gun is not overheating, so that's a huge bonus. I'll be careful, guys. Right, I hope we're going towards an actual point here. I think we are. Yes, we're going towards D. Be careful. Damn friendly fire. Don't get in the way of my gun, boys. All right, we're going to just keep our eyes open here. We are taking Delta, so the enemy could be coming from anywhere, really. Oh, that's... We are taking Charlie. Oh, come on. Definitely saw them moving there. I don't I don't know if I hit any of them. I don't think I did. But I was trying to. At least maybe we got an assist. We have we'll have to see. Thank you, Tom. How's it going, Frisky PC Gaming? And uh, rate this game out of 10. 10. <laughs> I love it, I must say. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Tom, for the, uh, the super chat donation. Very awesome. All right, let's go this way. And once again, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll be repeating myself on that quite a few times because we want to get as many people uh, to subscribe as possible. We mostly do strategy games on this channel, but since the, uh, well, it's not really re release, but since uh, this game uh, came out of uh, alpha and is in beta, we've been doing a lot of Rising Storm 2. So we're going to stick to some FPS as well, uh, sort of diversify on the channel. So I hope you guys will also enjoy the strategy aspect of the channel, but... Uh, absolutely would be awesome if you guys, uh, you know, watch both, I guess. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. So here we go. We're going to C, Charlie. Might as well throw it. We're definitely getting shot at, too. Oh, shit. I thought that was an enemy. This is definitely a place where you can easily get ambushed. We have a taken trolley. Well, this is not a good place to set up a machine gun. Oh! Well, we did get the squad capture bonus, but yeah, we got we got headshotted pretty bad there. You need more boost. You don't need boost. I need ROM and Tom. I need new games, new mouse. <laughs> never satisfied, never appreciative. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Charlie is being attacked. Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting shot at this time. And Tom is one of the Charlie biggest donators on this channel, so uh, he is definitely a valued, valued donator, and I appreciate it, man. And sorry if I'm not seeming um, completely uh, enthusiastic. It's, it's only because I'm trying not to get shot here. I lost 40 pounds by drinking my breakfast. What the fuck? The weirdest shit comes up on my phone. I think it's been it's been hacked. There's something wrong with it. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and head over here. And welcome everybody. Um, good to see you guys. I ran out of booze. It's an awful, awful wake up, says Tom. <laughs> Not good, man. That is an awful wake up. Well, you gotta stop. You gotta stop drinking at some point. The party can't go on forever. Eventually, you're gonna have to face the the terrifying hangover. Okay, actually, we might want to go this way. And obviously, guys, if you ever want to post on uh, on our channel, you know, on the videos, on this video, uh, games that you would like to see in the future, please do. I mean, we're always trying to find out what people are into, what they want to see. What's that? It looks like a Cobra gunship. That doesn't even look like a Huey. Is that a Cobra? Oh! RPG, well done. I, hope, I, I was hoping that was me, but it definitely was not. We have a taken Echo. Right, they've taken Echo. What else do we have to take here? Well, we have control of everything right now. So the enemy really could be Charlie anywhere. Is being attacked. Come on. Scout, 
Report in. Oh, there we go. I see uh, F is taken. Foxtrot, I should say. I wonder if just being in the water cools down the machine gun. That would be really cool. If you could, like, go up to the water, uh, place your machine gun in it, cool it down a bit. I'm not sure if that would actually work, considering the machine guns get pretty damn hot when they're firing. But I think that's probably one of the few um, issues with the VC is the overheating machine guns. The M60 really doesn't overheat. Um, not easily, yeah! anyway. I mean, all guns overheat, but the M60, you can just fire away, and it takes a while for, for you to see smoke. Well, I hear the sound of dying Vietnamese. That's not good. Hmm. Right, let's keep going, guys. I don't like being out in these rice paddies way too exposed. Holy shit. Alright, let's keep going. There's gonna definitely be some enemies nearby here for sure. I can sense them. Let's see if we can put the machine gun on something. Even this works pretty well. If we can spot some Americans, of course. Hmm. No, we gotta get a little closer. Try to move through these houses. I think this is probably the safest thing to do, at least right now. Oh, maybe there's nobody here. Oh no, there's definitely somebody here because we're not taking Foxtrot right now. So there's definitely some Americans. Americans. We have been defeated. Well, there we go. We got defeated. Damn it. I thought we took all of the places. Uh, Tom says, I might have uh, <laughs> a slight problem, I'll admit. GI number one, <laughs> says Tom. Uh, says uh, Crown Tiger. Crowning Tiger, I should say. Ah, yes, Jesus Camacho uh, said he heard Day of Infamy is great. I've played some Day of Infamy. It is great. Um, I'm trying to think the game it was based off of, which was a game I used to play way back in the past, uh, Day of Defeat. That's what it was based off of. Um, and, yeah, when I was younger, it was a really fun game, sort of the World War II version of Counter-Strike, uh, if that makes sense. And, yeah, Day of Infamy is pretty good. Um, I definitely might consider putting it up on the channel, especially since we've been so successful with, uh, you know, with putting this up on the channel, with doing a, a Let's Play here. So I absolutely um, want to help. Hey, Bruce, how you doing, buddy? Uh, but you always got, you got to be careful too, Tom. You can't overdo it. Um, I mean, well, who am I to, who am I to give, <laughs> to give lessons on, on stopping drinking? Hey, Andrew Wavell. Hey, David Pesach. Got your uh, email, by the way, buddy. I uh, sent you a response. I hope it was somewhat informative. I mean, it's it's a tough question to answer, um, but I'm doing my best to answer it. Again, I'm not an ultra-successful YouTuber. I, we're almost at 10K, but that's not by by the, by the YouTube stretch of the imagination. That's really not that, uh, not that huge. By the way, we just got the Marksman character for once, and I'm not usually very good with a sniper rifle, but I, I can't wait to try this out. Um, but I did try to answer the question as best I could. Um, I hope it helps, and of course, we can always go back and forth 
uh, give each other some tips. I, th I think it's a great idea. I think all, mo more YouTubers should do that. Um, I'm actually part of a YouTube community. I'll find it on Skype where everybody kind of gets together and we trade ideas uh, or trade experiences, things like that. So I will definitely share that with you um, in, a in a next email, something like that. Um, because it seems to be a pretty good place. I mean, most of, most of it, most of the time, it's just us complaining about about uh, this horrible YouTube mess that we're in right now. But um, a lot of the times, people do up do put up some pretty interesting stuff. Um, I found a forum which I should use more um, about you know basically how to succeed on YouTube, etc. Uh, things you can do. I and mean, one of the suggestions was diversify. So that's what kind of one of the reasons we're doing this. Oh shit! I told you guys I sucked as a sniper. Oh, nice! I actually got the kill, but still, I still suck as a sniper. Defensive kill. I do like that it's a semi-automatic, though. That's beautiful. Ah, wow. Well, your grandfather was in for a long time. I think that's three tours. Um, because I think a tour is two years. So, that's three tours of duty. That's pretty hardcore stuff, man. My dad was in for one tour, and he was he had enough of it. He's like, no more. I've had it. This is uh, this is sufficient. Oh shit! Fuck! Yeah, I should have taken cover and realized that that guy was gonna get me. Was he using a PPSH? They've definitely um, added new weapons to the game, and I'm thinking maybe I need to unlock the next rank to be able to get new weapons, because, for instance, uh, somebody was telling me that the shotgun in the game is surprisingly good, and I haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, I really want to try it, so I think we just need to keep playing, keep trying to unlock new ranks, and hopefully we'll, we'll be privy to those new weapons uh, that pop up. Right, let's try to stay behind cover. I'm gonna get addicted to this sniper rifle, but I want to get good with it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They already see me. God damn it. Wow, hardcore, man. Yeah, I think you're right, David. I, uh, I like to use it, like, right up close. It's, you know, I can't find a good vantage point. Like, I think I need to learn the map a little more um, to know specifically where to attack. And by the way, this is definitely a different game mode. Because you can see we just have to attack one area. So, a lot more action in this game mode. It looks like a smaller map. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, so, if somebody's looking for, like, more of a run-and-gun experience, I think this would probably be it. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to get some cover here. Let's see. Come on. Where are you, VC? Shit, am I under fire? Son of a bitch. We got another sniper on our team as well, so this could be a little sniper battle. Holy crap. Oh, thank you, Brett. I appreciate it, man. Oh, and I'm glad you like the strategy war games too, man. That's awesome. Thanks so much, man. Again, for anybody that has just joined, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe. And uh, for those of you that donate, I really appreciate it, guys. It's absolutely awesome uh, when you help the channel that way. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and head back to A. I, how do I switch? I might switch, I might switch my uh, gun. The machine gun. Well, you guys can hear that lady in the background, too. Come on. Got one. Got one, baby. Headshot for sure. Maybe not? Is it possible I didn't get that guy? Maybe not. Damn. Can you land, please? Come on, you better give me that kill. Yup, we got one, boys. I expect it to do a lot better than that. We know that there are a lot of them are coming from here. We are taking Alpha. So I guess this is sort of like moving up to each individual point. We're not getting like the four points like we usually do with the objective capture. Uh, so they must be experimenting with new game modes. I, I like this one. It's very cool. I'm glad we got that guy. That that took forever though. 
Thank you. We are taking Alpha. All right, let's see. Oh shit! Oh shit! Definitely saw someone move in there. We are taking Alpha. Oh shit! I got a headshot. Did you guys hear that? That was beautiful. Pink. That was really nice. I'm liking the machine. I'm liking the sniper rifle quite a lot. We're still taking Alpha. We've got to try and take it. You drive this time? Um, I don't know. We have taken Alpha. Gotcha! Gotcha! Another kill yeah, for Agrippa. And we also got a squad capture bonus. Gotcha! Oh, I am liking the sniper rifle, guys. I think I just found my gun. I think I just found my gun. Doing pretty good with this. It's a little cheap to use a sniper rifle, don't you think? Maybe not. I mean, I'm usually not good with snipers in games, but in this one I seem to be doing all right. I think you have to press space. Yeah. Oh, we're down. Thank you, Frisky PC. Let's see. One word to Indonesia. Uh, see, full figures, you're doing it wrong. Ah, in the game, you have to get used to shooting at a bunch of moving pixels. In indeed. This because I would have got gone with a Garand as well. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we're gonna have to uh, switch from the M16 to to the uh, the M1 because you're right. I mean, although I gotta say the scope helps big time. It really it helps really big time. Um, and I think by pressing Shift we can hold our breath, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Check out other uh, games uh, after the stream as well. We've also got a, a lot of other streams we've done with Vietnam 65, or, excuse me, Rising Storm Vietnam. Uh, so I would suggest you check those out too. Could have sworn I saw an enemy there. Well, oh shit, we got Claymores. Uh, can you respawn? Right, I'm going to start setting some Claymores if I can get uh, close enough not to kill. I think the helicopter is going to respawn too. Got a VC tunnel here. This will be a good place to put a, a claymore. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that at all. Um, 1060. I'm using a GTX 1080. I mean, it runs fine with me, but I I'm honestly not sure, man. Um, did I have to lower gaming settings to get a better killing experience? No, I never lowered gaming settings. Um, there it is. Not for this. Um, you know, I use a Strix Asus uh, laptop. Uh, I think it's a 1080 card. I mean, it is a pretty decent laptop, I, I will admit. So I'm not sure how you're gonna do with with uh, other cards. I mean, I'm not I'm not one to suggest websites, especially since a lot of them, you know, could have viruses, things like that. There is that um, Can I Run It website. Uh, that's one you can take a look at, which generally gives you the correct information. But for instance, I've had uh, Can You Run It tell me I can't play Witcher 3, uh, and I've been able to play Witcher 3 without a problem. So, oh, gotcha, bitch. Um, so it is very hit or miss. Did you bought this game or are you playing because it's free weekend? Free weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, shit! Uh, so you're playing from. Oh, shit. It's a fucking machine gun there. Oh, we just gotta kill, guys! We gotta kill with the Claymore! Just like that. Very cool. I wish you got to review yeah, your kills. Oh, okay. headshot. Yeah, gonna Definitely gotta kill with the Claymore. We're up to six, which is not bad for us, but look at that guy on top 21. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that mid, mid est. It's already here, that man. AC forty-seven inbound. Take cover. All right, we got an AC forty-seven coming in, baby. Recon is in the air. Got another squad assist on another claymore, I think. 
pretty cool. You know what they should really make um, in this game? I mean, I'm sure they're going to be coming up with all sorts of new maps. Yeah, what the? Oh, sniper battle! Um, but I would yeah. like to see, like, a Tunnel Rats map. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, where you're only in the tunnels and maybe facing BC, like, really small corridors uh, and firing lanes. I think it would be fun. I'm, I'm sure they're going to do something like that. Uh, but being able to relive the Tunnel Rats would be... Amazing. I think those guys probably had some of the toughest jobs in Nam, uh, going into VC, t t uh, you know, tunnels with booby traps, poisonous snakes, uh, poisonous spiders, and, and having to find BC with just a pistol. Not a fun job, I don't think. Probably a definite cause for PTSD, without a doubt. Capture an objective soon, or we lose. Oh shit, we gotta take C. Gotta take C. Man, I'm glad I got some kills with those claymores. That was fun. That was really fun. And obviously all the sniper shots. I'm I'm really love the sniper rifle. And I think David Pesak is right. I'm gonna have to switch to the M1 Garand. Uh, is it Garand or Garand? We we've got to get somebody to to pronounce this correctly. Garand or Garand? I've always thought it was Garand, but could be wrong. Watch out! Enemy traps ahead. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I got I got hit bad. In 15 minutes, I'll show you the French touch as Norn. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yes, absolutely. We have to respect uh, everybody that served in this war. And I think that, that goes for both sides. Not just uh, the Americans, but, you know, the, the enemy as well. I mean, this was definitely a war where um, I think it's, it's, it's way past the time for uh, bygones to be bygones. And uh, I know, for instance, my father is very much, you know, not angry Recon with the people of Vietnam or North Vietnam. Um, well, and now it's Vietnam. Um, you know, he's, he's not angry at them or anything like that. I mean, it, war is war. Uh, some wars you can feel a little more bitter than others, obviously. We are taking Charlie. All right, we are taking Charlie. Yes, you, we are it, taking Charlie. Yes, we know. You, we, you said it four times we're taking Charlie. We know. We know we're taking Charlie. Believe me, we know we're taking Charlie. Be careful, be careful. Oh shit, grenade. This is uh, Commander. Uh, oh fuck. I'm just gonna have a napalm strike. Repeat Delta has napalm strike. Oh shit, sorry man. Oh ho 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 ho. I'm trying to use the pistol there. I wonder if we got an assist. I'm not sure if we actually hit the guy. It would be pretty cool if we did. Yes, he was. My father was in Vietnam. 577 Corps of Engineers. Uh, first Lieutenant. And, uh, yeah, he has some stories, but, you know, he, uh, he got lucky in the sense that he did, he did, of course, have uh, some firefights and, and this and that, but he didn't have, uh, didn't have it so bad as the guys on Jungle Patrol or, or obviously the Tonal Rats, guys like that, um, you know, he had actually a, an opportunity to go into, uh, U.S. Army Intelligence, but he never took it. Um, I guess he just really wasn't his thing, you know, he's, uh, came off a farm and, uh, you know, went to the Vietnam War. He was really trying to get away from the farm, so he signed up. He, he didn't get drafted, he actually signed up and, uh, went to officer school and, uh, yeah, he, uh, I mean, it's not an experience he looks at fondly, but sort of, uh, pushed him into the career that he ended up doing, which was, uh, construction. So, I guess, you know, in a way, yeah, it was a positive experience. Um, I mean, his belief is, which kind of is my belief, and um, I would go if I could. Unfortunately, I have a certain medical condition which doesn't allow me to join the army. Um, I'll let you guys try and guess what that is. Um, but um, he says that basically people should, at the very least, have to go through basic training um, to just kind of learn discipline, and I agree. Uh, I think especially with this generation, uh, it's probably very true. Nice shot there through the neck. Oh shit. We have taken Delta. Didn't expect that to happen. Let's go into the tunnel, can we? Maybe not. Oh man, we are under fire big time. 
Got him. Got another one. We're up to seven kills. Not too bad for me. Uh, yes, my father is still alive. Oh, wow, John Connor. My father was born in 1945. End of World War II. And I believe he served from 67 to 69. I could be wrong on those dates. Um... But yeah, only two years. He, he did not go for a second tour, even though he was offered a second tour. He, I mean, I, my dad is not... If you ever met my dad, he's a very friendly guy. He's really not one that probably likes that sort of lifestyle. Uh, having to be in combat all the time, it, it's not his thing. Oh, wow. Gunner first mate. Oh, uh... Oh, in other words, is Gunner First Mate the guy that would uh, help load the uh, machine gun? We have lost Could be wrong on that. Oh, hip shot! Hip shot, guys! No scope! We're going into COD territory. No scope! And I protected the squad leader, so I get a bonus for that. Oh, shit! Fuck you! Got another one, guys. Damn, I'm liking this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch to the Grand uh, when I go into the regular grunt mode next time, because it works. I mean... It does a damn good job. Although I must say I am loving the sniper rifle. Why are we stuck in a freaking tunnel? No scope. Oh, we missed that one. Charlie will have a artillery strike. We're actually doing pretty well though, honestly. Now of course we've got to try and uh, take D. And the guy just said Charlie has an artillery strike, so they could uh, drop. Uh. Battlefield 1 mode, says David Pesach, indeed. Sorry to hear that, Midest. Very sorry to hear that, buddy. At least you didn't make the Twitch kitty sad. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, um, also the... <clears throat> I really appreciate it. I, I, oh, give me a second. Uh, yeah, the Twitch Kitty is another way to donate, of course. Uh, for anybody that knows my Twitch channel, uh, you just go to the Twitch channel, there's a little kitty cat, you click that. Adorable little kitty cat. Uh, sorry to hear about your father, man. That is, uh, that's tough to deal with. And do you have any interest in uh, in ever joining the service, or do you think you're going to stay out and uh, just stick to civilian life? I haven't uh, lost any friends in uh, the Iraq or Afghanistan war, but I have had friends that have been injured. And friends that were in a non-combat position or situation. Oh, hello, you're looking at through your binoculars? I just hit him. I just hit him. He's gonna have to bandage himself. I didn't kill him, but I definitely winged him. Oh boy. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is like a grip us good day. I'm actually like getting some decent kills here. Yes, I think I'm gonna start taking the M1 from now on. Oleg had a point yesterday. Because Oleg kept telling me to take the M1. I can kinda see why now. Recon is in the air. We have taken Delta. Gotcha. That's three, baby. Got another one, boys. Four. This might be my best kill streak so far. Four kills. Let's keep moving up. 5.56 millimeter full metal jacket. That's what I'm talking about. careful here. Very careful. I like how, like, when you run, you actually start to lose breath, and, uh, 
as you can see, the, the scope is moving around a lot more. Oh, nice. Good idea. Yeah, burn them out. Very good idea. Final objective. Oh, I thought I had him. Final objective. Well, this is the final objective, guys. If we can make this work, that's going to be awesome. Let's see if this works. Hello, Austin Sugars. No, it didn't release yet, but we have a free weekend. Good morning, Vietnam. I love how everybody keeps uh, using the line from uh, that uh, the Robin Williams film. Great film, by the way, and based on a true story. Um, I forget the name of the radio operator or the. Um, it's really he's not a radio operator. He's a radio uh, host that uh, was the host for Stars and Stripes uh, radio uh, back in Vietnam. And yeah, he really pissed off a lot of uh, the senior commanders, but uh, he was loved amongst the men. Might still be alive, actually. I'm not sure. Obviously, Robin Williams is not alive anymore. Uh, you know, rest in peace. But, great guy. One of the few celebrities I can say is, is actually a good guy. What do we got in here? What do we got here? Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Oh, that was actually my guy. I would have shot my own guy. It's all that green helmet. Oh, fuck! Oh, that was a perfect throw. I gotta give it to him. That was a perfect throw. Absolutely perfect. 14 kills. Older than time itself, boy. Older than time itself. I don't know. Take a guess. Um, it's not a question we like to answer. How old, how old I am. Don't forget, my friends, if you are new to the channel, subscribe. Take a look at our other games on the channel. We do a lot of military simulation, things like that. Oh, you fucker. I got him. Headshot. Headshot, baby. Um, so I think you guys will probably like it. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do a lot of shooters. Uh, people were already giving me some good suggestions uh, of realistic shooters that we could play. Hello. That's my first pistol kill. Oh, I thought I was, was going to get number two there. Not so bad, though. We had to have wounded him, at least. We had to have wounded him. Come on, boys. I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, actually save parts of this battle because I think we got so many sniper kills we could actually turn this into a decent video um, you know obviously the, the stream itself always is uploaded but uh, I want to maybe make a separate video just sniper action see how it does oh shit I definitely saw somebody there hip fire hip fire <laughs> please give me that kill come on all right, we got an assist, and holy shit, Napalm. Thanks for dropping it right on top of us, guys. Really appreciate that. I'm busy, I'm also a transgender ginger, and I'm anti-gun. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. Hurry. Get in the fight, soldier. You're more than welcome. I, I like also the Kim Jong-un. <laughs> the Kim Jong-un picture while he says that. It's wonderful. Yeah, most of you guys that uh, that are regulars here or that just recently joined know about the YouTube madness going on, and uh, I always I always like to hear people you know make jokes about. It. I mean, it's it's not really that funny. It sucks, but yeah, you've got to try to laugh at this stuff. Um, if you don't laugh, you're just gonna cry more or less. So there we go, 16 kills. But I mean, that's pretty good actually. I think I have for the first time ever. I have more kills than anybody on the team. Well, I'm actually I'm actually uh, tied with uh, RVN Goro Negro. That's still pretty cool. Why can't I dis deploy on squad leader? I guess I just need to wait. Alright, we'll Final go objective. deploy, auto select location. Here we go. Final Let's objective. go. And this is the final objective. We've got to try to take that area. 
You can see the VC tunnel. I like how they point out where the VC tunnel is, so you kind of know where the enemy is popping out of, but I think that only stays up for a bit, and you can destroy the enemy tunnels, so you throw a grenade in there, you blow them up, or use a claymore, and uh, obviously makes it a lot harder for the enemy to get close to you guys. Man, I am really liking this gun, I have to say. Favorite gun so far in the game. Obviously, I haven't tried the shotguns out yet. I need to unlock them, but... I want to try the shotguns as well. They're supposed to be pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost killed you, John Rambo. He's watching that side. Let me watch this side. Let's go for it. Oh! We should have had that. This game rocks. Yes, it does. Kong Du Gaming. Download Rising Storm 2 Vietnam Now. It's a free weekend and on Steam. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody should download it. Uh, there is a free Steam weekend. You don't have to pay for the game uh, this weekend, but of course, you know, you'll lose that afterwards. Uh, why do a lot of people play this game? Like his big TDM... For fuck's sake. Um, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, uh, it's focuses on a conflict that's rarely focused on. It's, uh, it's not like Call of Duty, which is always, you know, trying to go into the future, which I'm no, I'm no fan of the future. Um, you know, it's, I just like it. I mean, it's more realistic than most of the shooters you'll play today. Um, and also, guys, uh, once again, going on the channel, uh, first of all, subscribe, but also on some of the videos, if you want to post suggestions for other games we can try, we always appreciate that. That really, really helps to determine what we're going to play next. Um, and uh, I think we'll probably stick to a World War II shooter pretty soon. Um, I know one of the ones that people keep uh, referencing is uh, Day of Infamy, which is a very good one. I do have it, and I actually had the developers... Uh, give me the game for free and ask me to do some videos on it. So I think it's about time I probably right, repay the favor. The wow, I thought that was a VC for sure. Hurry, get in the fight, soldier. Well, I gotta get out of here. There we go. Wow, a lot of dead Marines here. Definitely stepping into VC territory over here. But I want to lay a mine here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! I hope my mine still works though. I wonder if you die if the mine disappears. That would kind of suck. Oh, I'm not sure our claimers room. I think claymores are remotely activated, but you can also activate them um, using a switch, a kill switch. I could be wrong on that. If anybody knows, let us know. Final objective. They keep saying final objective, but it's a lie. It's never the final objective. The war never ends. So many choppers here to victory. We got it, boys. That is a victory. I like it. I like it. Only with Switch, no remote. Thanks, NXS uh, Web Radio. Squad is the best and most realistic modern shooter. Amazing game. I have Squad. I I, I, I might play it. My biggest issue with Squad, um, and uh, yes, absolutely true, David Pesach. Um, but my biggest issue with Squad is that I've played it and I never get into a freaking firefight. I mean, the few times I've gotten into a firefight in the game, it took forever. Um, and it just kind of threw me off. It just kind of made me not want to play the game. 
Um, I think, like, I played for, like, two hours, and I got into, like, two firefights, and they were fun. You know, maybe I just wasn't playing the game correctly. They were fun firefights. They, you know, they took a while. They weren't instantaneous. We were firing at each other from, like, 200, 300 meters away, but, you know, just to wait that long for one firefight is kind of disappointing, although pretty, you know, pretty realistic for sure. Um... Because, you know, my dad told me uh, that, you know, war is like 95% boredom and 5% complete and utter chaos. So, I mean, I kind of get that. Um, but, yeah, I was put off by squad just because of that. I'll definitely give it another shot, especially with how, how much support we've been getting with these first-person shooters. Um, but it's definitely a game that, you know, I initially was really, really excited about. And then when I started playing it, I was like, eh, this is not what I expected it to be. But yeah, definitely a realistic shooter, and we will do realistic shooters from now on, absolutely. Okay, let's see. Maybe A is not the place we want to go to. No, that's good. We're, d we're defending now, so that can actually kind of makes sense. Switch over to semi-automatic. But damn, 16 kills. That is cool, man. What, what the hell is that guy doing? Did you guys see that? What the hell is he doing? What is, what is he doing? Is that Ice Chuck? Wait a minute. I might know Ice Chuck. Ice Chuck donated to our channel before, and uh, if that's the same guy, I was about to say if I couldn't get that kill, I, I would just have quit right then. Rookie Soldier finally got the first Rookie Soldier uh, tag. Pretty cool. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Nice. That guy's using the shotgun. And like I told you guys, I've heard the shotgun is an amazing weapon. Got him! Got another one. I'm getting slightly better, guys. Like, I'm actually surprised. Uh, we're not doing too bad at all. Hello, Texas! How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I don't think so. I think, um, yep, David Pesach, uh, as you guys can see, not the, no offense, Dave, not the greatest PC, but it's not bad either. Um, he's able to run it. It's it's actually, I would say, it's, I mean, this is much easier to run than Call, than, uh, call of Duty. I don't want to be the squad leader. God damn it. Oh, man. I don't even know how to call anything in. This is not good. Maybe if I look at the map... I'd really like to learn how to be a squad leader, but I'm just not good enough at the game to do that yet. Switch back to semi. I mean, at least people can spawn on me. That's pretty cool, but still, I was hoping to uh, to stick to just grunt. Careful with that MG soldier. up there okay so we have to go way actually gotta go this way get to the headquarters and defend it hell yes boys hell yes oh shit that guy scared me he's just standing up there like eh, I'm gonna get shot but oh well He sees something. He sees something. Where are those damn Americans? I 
Oh shit. Definitely getting shot at, I just can't see from where. Alright, let's head down there because that area was just taken. Hello, American! There we go. Heading down to what I think is the action. Enemy is running our so maybe we need to use the, the binoculars to call in orders? Oh shit, marked coordinates, that's cool. So we can mark coordinates on B. Oh boy. Got a little bird shooting at us for sure. Oh shit. Bravo is being attacked. Hello. Oh, I suck. I suck. After 18 kills, we couldn't have gotten that one. Yeah, I'm Charlie right now. <laughs> From basically Vietnam. Uh, not sure, David Pesok. I wish I knew. I mean, that's why I, I really don't want to be squad leader, because I don't know enough about him to even know how to use the radio, to be honest with you, or, uh, or any of that stuff. Um, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff below, where it's like, there does seem to be, like, let's see, hold on. Binoculars, Type 96 grenade, we got Punji traps. Doesn't seem to be much going on down there. That's definitely where we need to go and defend, so we'll head down there. Yeah, just have to want to get back to uh, semi-automatic. Do much better with the semi-automatic mode. Although I do miss my sniper. That was fun. Really fun. Now, the one thing they need to add to this that they had in Red Orchestra 2, I, I haven't seen it in this yet, is the bleeding out. Like, you, you seem to always be able to save yourself, but I liked, like, those moments in Red Orchestra 2 where when you got hit, like, you couldn't save yourself. You just had a few seconds to react, and uh, you eventually bled out. They've got to bring that back. There's tremendous amounts of enemy fire coming in in this area. There's some grenades. I'm gonna stay here. You took my spot! Man, look at that. They are missing us big time. You can see what they're trying to do, but it's not working. Victory, boys and girls. Not so bad. Not so bad. Ah, uh, thank you. You need have to be near the radio to call stuff in, says SSFI Command. That makes sense. Oh, and dig the tunnel for the respawn point. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I know that NXS, uh, like, you hold the F key and it starts to patch up. But, I mean, I, I miss those moments where, like, you couldn't patch yourself up. Like, the wound was too serious. Um, that, that's fun. Now, obviously, that... We still have a long way to go, but there we go. Level 8. Nice. We did get to level 8. A lot of kills here. 442 for XP. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I gotta be commander to call stuff in. Says Ron Burgundy. It's Ron Burgundy, the voice of San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> oh, that movie's fucking funny. QA City. I think I've only fought on this map a few times. 
Don't forget about the super chat option down below, guys. We've already had two people donate, uh, Tom Nemance and Brett Bailey. Really appreciate that. If you hit that dollar sign or whatever denomination you use, you can always uh, throw some cash this way, and I do greatly appreciate it. Um, if not, subscribe. Subscribe. Tenno Heka Banzai. I like that name. Ah, uh, make squad sp spawns. Ah, I see. Makes sense. Oh, we may have a game crash. No, we're good. I was worried there for a second. Oh, I want to try the VC sniper this time. So we did really good with the American sniper, uh, but that's an, an M1 basically with a scope. The VC sniper is definitely bolt action. Thank you, Ice Chuck. You're the best, man. By the way, Ice Chuck, were you in my game earlier? Because I saw, um, I think I saw your name in the game and you were kind of like uh, shimming across the map. I don't know if that was you. It might have been somebody else. But there was definitely somebody named Ice Chuck in the game. And I was like, oh shit, it's Ice Chuck. <laughs> Look at that, guys. So, I'm not sure if uh, if that was you once again, but thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Ice Chuck, you were awesome. I can't tell you guys what a difference that makes at the end of the month um, with the current YouTube situation. It's absolutely awesome when people do that. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, my friends. I don't know if I like this uh, VC, this VC rifle. I'm going to have to get used to it. Place a squad tunnel. That's right. Okay, how do I place the squad tunnel? Here we go. Can't tunnel here. We need to go to a place that's got just dirt. First of all, I think that maybe an American just ran above us. Could be going crazy, but... Alright, let's see if this works. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, I think I got a team kill. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. We have a lost alpha. Headshot, too. Yeah, we need to go to a place with some dirt. But if there's anything that this uh, this has shown me, guys, this experience of, of you guys uh, joining up to watch uh, to watch this particular game... Um, I'm absolutely, absolutely going to be playing a lot of different uh, games. Um, and uh, that's that's our thing, is just basically trying to uh, diversify the channel. Going from 18 kills to... No kills is no fun. <laughs> okay, maybe we can uh, find some dirt back here. Is this? No, that's concrete. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. No, it's not. Here Bravo we go. Is being attacked. Bravo is being attacked. Give us time. There we go. Yeah. My first tunnel placement. Bravo is being attacked. Bravo is 
Dude, this might have been our guys, but I can't be 100% sure. The squad markers come up way too late. That's one thing they need to improve. I think it would stop a lot more team kills. See how those squad markers are just barely popping up? And it's hard to say whether they're uh, VC or, or GIs, so it's easy to get a team kill. I don't think we've even fired this weapon yet. Let's do a tripwire trap here. Maybe we need to, we can only do the tripwire trap outside. No, it's not working. Return to the combat area. Sorry. Yeah, it's definitely a semi uh, bolt action, I should say. Not a semi. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we got one. I wanted to get the second one, but beggars can't be choosers. Still, that was nice. I really want to get both kills. Definitely saw some enemies there on the floor. Weapon runs out of ammo fast. Oh, yeah. What? There we go. Headshot. Finally. Oh, shit. I see the guy up there. Another thing, guys, you can do to help the channel, um, if you can't donate um, when you're subscribed, make sure to watch the ads. I know they suck, but just watch them. We rarely get them anyway, and uh, it's mobi mostly for stuff like Mobile Strike. But uh, another thing that really helps is letting me know what ads you're seeing, so we can tell if we're getting ads at all. Um, got a squad deploy. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, it's fucking out of ammo! Are you serious? Worst timing ever. Return to the combat area. Oh shit. I can't even shoot. Come on. Oh, you got me. Yeah, probably not an advantage. Absolutely. No, buy your own games. You should never try to download games for free, honestly. I actually, I mean, it's not just because I work for a gaming company that I'm against that. I mean, you know, consider the fact that people work really hard to make this stuff. Um, you know, most of them are underpaid for the work they do, and they bring entertainment. Don't, I, I really hope that you guys, most of you at least, don't download games for free. I mean, it's, it's, it's really something I frown upon. Same with music and even movies. Um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, I've I've made that mistake in the past. When I was much younger, I used to download movies for free. I don't do it anymore. I just refuse to. It's much easier to just go to a streaming site, pay a few bucks, you know, do it that way, or get or get freaking Netflix. Netflix should be paying me for this for this content. Um, but I, I don't recommend doing that. Nor would we help you procure a free download link. And a lot of those free download links, anyway, are probably more apt to give you a virus than the game itself. You gotta keep that in mind, too. Oh, nice shooting! Ever heard of Pro Yeah, I have, but I don't know what button to press. 
Your uncles in the Vietnam War said that when against the VC, Mosin nut guns were more common than AKs. Yeah, I could believe that, especially against the VC. Maybe not against the NVA, but um, you know, because the NVA was a more professional army. But against the Viet Cong, oh, absolutely. They they had to work with whatever they had. Most of their booby traps were ingenious. Not just the punji traps, but, you know, my dad used to tell me stories of uh, what the VC would do is they would uh, find some bouncing Bettys, and then if they killed a GI, uh, let's say, like, a, a routine ambush, GI goes down, time. you get behind the GI, you, you put a bouncing Betty under his body, as soon as his friends lift him up, you know, boom. Balls and legs missing. You know, it's not a, not a fun situation. The VC were ingenious at booby traps. Try to go over here. Oh, headshot. Oh, that's nice. Mosins are beautiful weapons. Unfortunately, I'm in Italy right now, so I cannot own a weapon. I'm not back in the good old US of A, uh, like I was a year ago. Um, but I never actually, I never had a gun. I, I've shot a few, uh, you know, visiting family down in the south. But uh, being in New York, it's pretty hard to get a weapon anyway. You've got to uh, pay $400 uh, to, to apply for a license. You've got to give your fingerprints. You gotta, you're got you on like a six-month to two-year waiting list. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty much a pain in the ass. Uh, a lot of the times you're required to join, like, a shooting club. I think we got a headshot there, unless we hit the car. I definitely heard a clink. Yes, we got a headshot, guys, on Roll Stulter. Very nice. I love the sound of that clink when you hit the, uh, the helmet. Uh, upstate, it's different. Upstate, it's different, but I was in New York City. But, yeah, upstate, it's probably a lot easier uh, to get a weapon. But in New York City, it's damn hard. Like, damn hard. I mean, unless you're a cop or know a cop, um, you're you're pretty unlikely to, to get one. Um, put you on a waiting list. Sometimes they want to check your psychiatric background, um, which takes a while. You know, they got to run some tests. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, and I, I'm pretty much a lefty, as a lot of people know here, I'm not a social justice warrior, for fuck's sake. We can't stand them. They're the reason that I'm not making as much money on YouTube as I should be right now. Um, but uh, I'm very pro-gun. I'm, I'm one of those uh, lefties that's very, very pro-gun. Uh, I think, you know, you should be able to have a gun to defend yourself. A lot of people like to say it increases crime. or any, I mean, maybe. I, I don't think that's the case. I think if a criminal wants a gun, he's going to get it, you know, one way or the other. It's not really going to be tough for him. I just got kicked on my napalm, Mr. Sir. Oh, I saw that comment. I saw that comment, Fat Cat. And no friend was there. Bravo is being attacked. Yeah, that can happen, man. I don't even need I know how to call in napalm, so you, you've beat me on that. Time's running out. Hold objective to win. We just have to hold the objective. We're in overtime right now. I'm going to switch to the pistol. But this T T33 -T runs out of ammo fast. I think it's got like six bullets in the clip. It's really not very good. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Come on. Squad tunnel destroyed? Well, at least I can build another squad tunnel, right? Cannot tunnel here. Oh, shit. You got hit. Yeah, Switzerland has very little crime, exactly. How much longer is this beta test going to go on for, says GTR SR? I really don't know, man. I, I hope that it's going to be out of beta very soon. But I think typically it's a good sign when a game stays in beta this long um, because they're really trying to work out all the kinks. And as far as I can tell, I've, I think we've you guys have been watching me play this for hours this last week. And uh, it's pretty rare that we get a bug. I mean, I think the only bug that I've seen is like a guy kind of floating across the map. And it only happened once um, when uh, Ice Chuck was on the map. So I'm not sure um, 
if there's really any big issues here, which is good. It just means they want to iron everything out. Uh, good sign. You know, a lot of companies would just release a game right away, and then we're the ones that have to be stuck seeing what the bugs are and trying to fix them. So Tripwire has done a really good job at um, at doing this uh, this closed beta. Now it's open beta, of course. Don't forget, my friends, to subscribe to the channel. Go take a look at some of the strategy videos. If you guys do end up watching the strategy videos, I would love if you posted, uh, hey, I got here from uh, your, no, your Rising Storm 2 uh, video, and uh, I like this stuff. If you like it. I mean, you don't need to lie to me, for God's sake. But uh, that really makes me feel good, because then we know that you know we can kind of diversify and, uh, and get not just uh, first-person shooter gamers here, but get first-person shooters uh, gamers into uh, strategy games as well. That's always an awesome thing. that okay he's the one shooting oh shit what was that and he's definitely pushing up here hot damn They're using the M108. Gotcha. We got one. Better have been a kill. Maybe not. Damn, really? I'm sure we got that guy. Oh, man. That guy just got wasted. Come on, damn wall! Fucking wall. Got one. That one we definitely got. I think that guy just blew himself up with an M108. That was a nice little kill there. Chest shot. Nice. I am squad leader. Oh shit. I didn't think that hip fire would work. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man, I don't know how he got me. Did he stab me? That was hilarious. That was hilarious. That was the funniest little back and forth I've seen in the game. We both just expelled our rounds and missed. That was hardcore, man. Uh, I don't think beta's over. Um, beta's still going, but it's an open beta now, so anybody can play, anybody can join. It's not a closed beta anymore where you have to sign up. Although that may just be for this weekend. They may go back to closed beta afterwards. I'm pretty sure, at least in my experience, uh, working at a game company, um, when you go for an open beta, you, you know, it's an open beta from then on. But it, it could be different. You know, every company is different, obviously. Enemy is running out of time. Enemy is running out of time. Let's get back to C, man. In fact, I know that there's a lot of guys running over there, so I might just just wait for them. No, I think I'll probably try to go back up. Well, I don't like that. How can I not build something here? Come on. Alright, 
will. Oh, we're getting shot at. Shit, somebody's shooting at us big time. Oh, man. Oh, no. Fuck that. Iron thighs? I just got another achievement unlocked. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, headshot to... Buy a motion for like 70 bucks. Does it work though? That's the that's the question. I will do my best, guys. For anybody trying to add me on Steam, I do apologize if I don't get you on there. Um, it's it's nothing personal. It's just we've got like 30 people on the waiting list, so I've got to try to increase maybe my Steam rank. I know that that increases friends lists, things like that, um, so that I can get a bunch more of you guys on here. We could start doing some uh, some you know actual squad um, meetups where we can all meet up on the server and and kind of play together. That would be really fun. I know I've played with a few of you in the last few days, but, uh, yeah, we could, we should definitely do more of that. The enemy is definitely calling in a major uh, Huey attack. Or actually, it might be more like an Apache attack on that area. Someone's shooting at me. Maybe we can build something here. Victory! We got it, boys! We got it! Yeah! Very nice. EC-130. Well, guys, once again, don't forget, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're going to probably, probably go ahead and call it quits on the stream now. Uh, we did a good, we've done a good hour and 20 minutes, and uh, I just want to thank everybody for joining. I want to thank uh, Tom, Brett, and Ice Chuck for donating. You guys are awesome. I always appreciate that. And I always appreciate people sharing the channel. So if you're not able to necessarily uh, contribute, you know, monetarily, at least go ahead and, uh, you know, share the channel so that other people can take a look at it. Um, obviously, subscribe. That always helps. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for showing up. I hope you had a good time. And we will definitely be doing another stream tomorrow, maybe even another stream later tonight. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but uh, stick around, and uh, that may occur. That's also why you want to make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you get all the news about upcoming streams. Um, and don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you get uh, notified, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, last chance for anybody that wants to throw a few bucks my way, feel free. Uh, using the little dollar sign beneath your chat screen menu, uh, we always appreciate it. Even if it's a dollar, two dollars, it goes a long damn way. It's certainly a lot more than, than YouTube is paying me right now. Um, we're talking about like maybe a few cents if we're lucky during a day, uh, which is tragic. It is tragic, but there's not really much we can do about it right now. Um, I'll see if I can go ahead and get maybe one more kill for you guys. But, yeah, I'm going to go uh, make some food. I got some uh, ground beef, and I'm, I'm not a chef, believe me. I'm not a chef, um, but I need to start cooking at home more. I obviously save some money, uh, but I am just terrible at cooking. One thing I can cook, though, is a hamburger, so that's probably what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> Forgot to buy ketchup, which kind of sucks, but it's just going to have to be a sort of a Ron Swanson type burger. No ketchup, no mustard. Oh! Uh, and just uh, just good old meat. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Take care.